Dear friends, greetings to you, every one of you, in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So today, the Lord is going to speak to every one of you through His Word of God. So many of us, we are continuously praying for the 40 days during the uh, time of before the resurrection and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. So why these 40 days? What is happening in these 40 days? So that is very important because Bible is a book of full of meaning. So the 40 days it is having a lot of signif significant insight. Several times it is mentioned in the Bible. Okay. Also it is mentioned about the 40 years. 40 days and 40 years. So this uh, 40 days uh, very importantly Jesus Christ he fasted and prayed for 40 days. So Matthew chapter 4 verse 2 says so Jesus led by the Holy Spirit and he taken into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So Jesus Christ overcame the devil through the word of God. So the devil started tempting Jesus more and more. But he overcame every situation. It is written in the word of God. So the 40 days as per the Bible researchers, they are explaining like this. If any human being 40 days practicing something regularly, they will totally habitual for that uh, for, for what they are implemented during the 40 days. So that means the 40 days somebody is praying continuously in focus prayer after that from their life, no one can separate their prayer life. It is a lifetime in their life. So Jesus Christ, he is the best example for us. He already gone through in the flesh like us. The, he tempted through the devil in the own flesh how we are living in this world. So his practice in the prayer life and overcoming the devil through the promises of God that is continuously helping Jesus until he lived in this world. So after this 40 days prayer, what happened in the life of Jesus? After that, Jesus very clearly he is explaining, myself and my father, we are one all the time. I am hearing my father, I am doing what the father is uh, telling me to do. So in our lives also, we should be one in Christ, one in the spirit. This 40 days prayer should make us one. Our mind should not disturb with the worldly things anymore. So how we are remembering the birth of Jesus Christ, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we have to remember this 40 days prayer life of Jesus Christ also. Because all these things are helping us to grow in our spiritual life every day. In the same way, Jesus Christ, he personally told to remember one thing, that is the Holy Communion. So remember my broken body. Or remember the blood of the new covenant every day. Through that also we should remember Jesus Christ and grow in our spiritual life. So this from today onwards, how many of you are willing to pray 40 days continuously more and more? Decide in your heart, Lord, this 40 days should be implemented. Lord, I should implement in my life practically. Lord, after the 41 days, I should not go to the worldly life. I should grow more. Towards your holiness, Lord, help me. That should be our prayer. So many more uh, 40 days are mentioned in the Bible. Just I am giving you the place. Jonah prophesied about the 40 days time of the grace period. Okay. Jonah 3, 4 says. Moses was on the Mount Sinai for 40 days. Exodus 24, 18. What? Elijah traveled 40 days to Mount Horeb, 1st Kings 19.8. So the same way, uh, many things written in the 40 days, the Bible very clearly says uh, that uh, 40 days, continuously there was a rain during the time of Noah. So our main important thing is 40 days, the prayer of Jesus. Why Jesus gone through these 40 days? For every one of us. Several times the worldly things are coming in our mind even though we are in spiritual life. So that's why we should increase the prayer and this will be a 40 days will be a well practice. Then 
our spiritual practice will not be separated disturbed by the worldly things so what we have to do what is our focus during this 40 days so what happened in the life of jesus christ the 40 days prayer is given him the more focus towards his suffering on the cross so before that in this world there is a there is a, a kind of a practice of doing the sacrifice so the bible it's talk about very much about the sacrifices so we have to know that jesus christ completed all the rituals all the things the minute things written in the old testament through his own body he became our only sacrifice so you may ask the question why we need the sacrifice so bible very clearly says isaiah 59:2 your sins and your iniquities have separated you from your god because without sacrifice our sins can uh, can't be make uh, we are we are not uh, live a holy life so but here the bible says we are living in the sin the sins separating us there there is a wall between us and god we can't able to communicate god directly so roman 623 roman 623 clearly says the wages of sin is death so hebrew 922 922 says in fact under the law almost everything is cleansed with blood and without shedding of blood there is no forgiveness so in the old testament if you read leviticus chapter 16 verse 3 to 20 in your home you go and meditate it in deeply yeah. so here the process the methods of sacrifice sacrifice how we have to do the sacrifice it is written in detail god spoke to moses directly and moses given all this instruction to his brother aaron and to do that so in this chapter one important thing there should be a male goats should be sacrificed so the aaron the high priest should take that blood and sprinkle it in the presence of the lord before the altar through the blood shed the people's sin will be forgiven so the sprinkling of blood that is the main thing to cover remove the sin and the sprinkling of blood will make a way to broke the wall between people and god so if you go through numbers chapter 7 this is a very longest chapter in this numbers 7th chapter one word is written more than 12 times that is one male goat for a sin offering so there should be a, a sin offering one male goat a blood the blood shed is very essential to remove the sin so jesus christ he became the sacrifice and he shed his own blood for us on the cross the 40 days you have to meditate more about the blood of jesus christ so in hebrew many places it is written about the blood of jesus how it is helping us so if you read hebrew verse uh, chapter 10 4 says it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sin the old testament the sins will be Uh, totally cleansed and removed through the blood but in the new testament it is very clearly says it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins as i told you leviticus 16 there should be one high priest needed for the people so aaron was our high priest as per the old testament so every time he should uh, enter into the presence of god as per the god's perspective wearing different type of uh, garments uh, very minute thing he used to follow otherwise he will be die before the presence of god the leviticus 16:1 you can read the two sons of aaron was died in the presence of god so such a kind of a fearful god with his mighty awesome presence so bible very clearly says hebrew 9 11 says but jesus christ came as a high priest 
of the good things to come so the old testament aaron was removed by the lord jesus christ so the word 12 it is very important word everybody you should the 40 days you should meditate this word of god every day this word is very essential so this word of god very clearly says not with the blood of goats and calves not with the blood mentioned in the old testament the goats and calves but with his own blood his own blood it is very important dear friend he entered the most holy place once for all heren every time he should go continuously today one family they came for the they uh, sacrifice he has to do so then after some time another family he has to go again one goat should be a uh, slain kill for the sacrifice but here not through the blood of the goat or calves jesus shed his own blood for us on the cross so this uh, hebrew 9 uh, hebrew 9 12 says having obtained eternal redemption so we are blessed with the eternal redemption for ever through the blood of jesus christ so the 40 days in your mind and heart you should think about the blood of jesus christ more and more so after the 40 days also this will continue it will be your own practice nothing will separate you from the blood of jesus christ Achha- so in the old testament one more thing it is mentioned that is the trumpet blowing the trumpet so wherever the trumpet sound is hearing there is a victory how the trumpet used to made it should be one it should be one male goat should be killed and through the big horn the trumpet used to be made so whenever they are blowing the trumpet taken from that male goat the the kind of the remembrance of that goat the the sound the entire the process the sacrifice one male goat killed the sacrifice the power of the sacrifice will blow through the sound of the trumpet so jesus christ he made a sacrifice for us he already blessed us with a great victory on the cross so all the 40 days you have to blow the trumpet and praise and worship the victory of the lord jesus so what what is our trumpet the passion of the christ is uh, christ should be our trumpet you know how the jericho wall totally broken into pieces by blowing the trumpet the trumpet sound the death of that goats it should go and destroy the wall the 40 days we have to keep on meditate from the head to toe the body of jesus christ full of wounds full of suffering full of stripes from the head to toe you have to meditate and worship the lord the power of god will flow whenever you are doing the worship Uh, by meditating the passion of christ such a way we have to pray for the 40 days yeah. we have to meditate uh, the head of jesus christ how it is totally damaged uh, through the poisonous uh, the thorns uh, made made as a crown how that uh, thorn poisonous thorn it's enter inside and affected the brain affected the eyes it is jesus gone through such a pain personally for every one of us so we have to meditate the 40 days like that several times in our mind lots of the wildly lustful things are coming all the unwanted temptation are coming we have to overcome by meditating the wounds of jesus from the entire body of jesus christ so come back to this uh, hebrew 9 another three words i am going to give you so hebrew 9:13 says for if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh it's talk about the old testament sacrifice 14 word it start like this in english it is very wonderful it says 
how much more shall the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot of spot to god cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living god Or, so the meaning of the how much more means 100% sure you can live a holy life for jesus christ so jesus christ is ready to help you in your 40 days prayer life so how if you are not yet filled with the holy spirit ask the lord because without the holy spirit you can't pray in a proper way so the final word this hebrew 9:15 says and for this reason jesus is the mediator of the new covenant by Or, means of death so every day during these 40 days you should make a renew your covenant with the lord lord my covenant with you it should be more strong because bible very clearly says we are made as a virgin bride for the bridegroom jesus christ so every day your 40 days prayer should be by meditating jesus the passion of christ through the help of the holy spirit all the time remember the blood of jesus christ every day when you pray you have to go very deep to the bleeding side of jesus christ on the cross go close to the cross of jesus there is a blood shed in the side of jesus there is a opening from there the blood and the water is coming coming flowing you should fully sprinkled by the blood of the lamb every day today is the day of decision lord this uh, coming 40 days i am going to fully empower with the grace of god to pray continuously lord i will not backslide i will not go back to the world anymore everyone you close your eyes right now now the holy spirit is going to going to enter every one of your heart there should be a conviction in your heart today the holy spirit will convict in our, in our spiritual life about our sin and he will all the time about the righteousness everywhere the before the lord second coming the holy spirit is going to be poured in a mighty way among the people everywhere there is a revival started we are reading in the news in america many places it is already started what is the real meaning of the revival in your heart in my heart i should receive the revival inside my heart lord i will not do sin anymore the conviction should start in my life in your life that is the main revival dear Or friend it? how many of you are ready to live a holy life yeah. it is very easy through the blood of jesus christ yeah. today take a decision jesus ah. cleanse me lord with your precious blood today ah. everyone you cry before for the lord today take a strong decision a determination from your heart today how many times lord i am backsliding how many times lord i am going through the world again and again It's and coming back lord i no need this life lord make me totally lord make me transform today lord everybody pray like this today many of us we are prayed many hours before uh, earlier but now our prayer time reduce our bible reading time reduce we are busy with the family we are busy with the children dear friends jesus is going to come back very soon before that first revival should start in your life in my life that is the expectation of the god today ask the lord lord today make a new covenant with me lord new covenant with me lord how many of you are ready to receive the new covenant today the first day of the 40 days of your prayer I everyone open your mouth and ask the lord give lord jesus give me the grace everyone you open your mouth and ask the lord for the special grace today jesus christ he became our only sacrifice here after no more the worldly sacrifice because jesus christ already completed everything What? today from your heart you can take a decision and make a new covenant lord i will live for only jesus Jesus in this world the holy spirit is ready to help you in your weakness from today onward the flesh is weak the 
spirit is willing to empower you now the holy spirit is coming everyone of you everyone be filled with the holy spirit now holy the holy spirit is coming and filling you holy. everyone be filled with the holy spirit now the, your prayer life is going to be increased god want to restore your spiritual life today <laughs> in your altar there should be a fire all the time uh. today the lord want to repair your altar today he want to repair your altar today because there is going to be the great fire fire is going to come and fill you oh. according to hahai 29 the later glory is so great says the lord What? new glory is coming and filling every one of you receive the new glory today is... the holy spirit is empowering every one of you Parmesh right now ki... the lord jesus is making your home holy there should not be any sin inside your home I... the blood of jesus christ is cleansing your home today Parmesh... the blood of jesus christ is cleansing every one of you right now I... thank you lord for your Let's say the Lord is going to help you to grow in your spiritual life But because how much more you are growing in your spiritual life the worldly blessings will automatically reach you thank you Lord for your blessing take a decision Lord the 40 days I will pray without any gap But Lord I will give a good time in prayer with you Lord But see a 2023 is a decision here in my life this year onwards I am going to grow in the Holy Spirit Holy 2023 is a year of decision in my life yeah. all the time the cross will be for me hell yeah. will behind me Achha i will yeah. not turn back anymore oh. every day i will grow more and more in my spiritual life Parot. whenever i read the bible i will get to the revelation from the holy spirit Achha. every day i will pray more in the heavenly language the unknown tongue here after the night time the any bad dreams will not uh, disturb my mind Achha. today onwards i am going to see only the heavenly vision and dream Achha. here after i will only see jesus christ in my dream Uh, Everyone you ask the Lord the grace is coming and filling you is... Thank you for answering our prayer Lord In Jesus name we pray Amen uh